I have a bad habit and this is part of the reason why I decided to make this video anyways because I realized if I have a habit with this then probably other people have this habit that needs to be broken also. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hilltop in the Valley. Today I have kind of a short episode for you, but it's gonna be very meaty. I hope it will be chock full of just things that will help you as you're coming into the next season. I wanna to talk to you today about canning lids. Um, and because we're not there yet, uh, but it is coming up, because I know people are gonna be starting to do like uh, pickled asparagus or starting their uh, strawberry jam or you know the berries will be in season before we know it um, and things will be starting to grow a lot more before we know it and so I want to talk to you about a few things to remember with your canning lids on making sure that you are saving the most money that you can when you are doing your canning because a lot of us let's face it we do canning because we want to save money yes I also like that canning is uh, I can control the ingredients. I like that I can control, control the way that the food is made, but I also like to try and save money on good food when I'm canning. And so today I have four tips for you and I hope this will help you just start to make some good habits. So the first tip that I have is to make sure that whatever canning lids that you are using, they are good quality. Um, if you are using reusable lids like the Tadler lids, those are great, especially if you get them from someone, like if someone gives them as a gift to you, that is wonderful because they are reusable and if you're not paying anything for them, then you're not actually even putting out the money in the beginning. The resealable canning lids are actually a little bit more expensive because hey, you get to use them multiple times, right? And generally with canning, you have to go out and purchase more lids. You can't just reuse the lid that you've already used. Um, so that's great, but we're gonna go beyond that a little bit. I have here uh, one of my gold lids. This is by a company called Superb Lids. They are meant to be way better at staying longer because they are not supposed to rust as easily, and then the lids are supposed to seal a lot better as well. So I really do recommend getting something like these where they are going to seal extra tight on your um, canning lid because the more lids that you have that fail, the more you have to go buy. Before I go on though, I do wanna let you know, I will put the link for the Kui House Wears lids. Um, these are superb canning lids and they are offering Hilltop in the Valley channel viewers 10% off um, with the link below. They will put it right in so that you don't have to put any code in. Okay, so we know that we need to have a good quality lid, but the next thing that is important, number two, is to make sure that you are taking care of your lids by washing them immediately after using them. I have a bad habit, and this is part of the reason why I decided to make this video anyways, because I realized if I have a habit with this, then probably other people have this habit that needs to be broken also. And that is to uh, put aside my lids to wash later. They sit in water in your sink. Um, they might sit on the side and have water splattered on them. It's not a safe place for them. And oftentimes when we are learning about making habits in our home and decluttering and all that sort of thing, they talk about triggers, things um, to to trigger you to do what you're supposed to be doing. You can have another trigger of even a timer on your phone that says it's four o'clock, it's time to figure out what to make for dinner. It could be simple as that. Well, I wanna say right now that I need the trigger of seeing these in my sink and going, those need to get out of my sink. If you guys get anything out of this video, take away that you should be washing these things immediately. As soon as you're done with your canning, these should be washed and put away. They should not wait on the counter or in your sink because they will start rusting even if they are heavy duty canning lids, okay? So once you have something, you need to take care of it. This is one of the best ways to save money, right? Then we don't have to buy more and more. <laughs> All right, which then leads on to our number three tip, and that is to, after you've washed them, to dry them properly. So this means that you are actually 
taking out your towel and you're going to run your towel into the inside rim because that's where the water gets caught. You don't want water to be uh, saved inside of there without you knowing it. And you're not going to just put these down onto a towel that's lying on the counter or a rack or whatever and let them dry. That will leave water on them for too long. You need to actually give them a go with the towel and dry it off. Our kitchen now has a dehumidifier in it, which is so helpful. And so um, I'm not gonna like tell you what to get as far as that goes, but I will say it has really helped in our kitchen. We live in a moist environment. We live in the Northwest. And so it's just naturally moist here. It takes a long time for things to dry. And even now that we have our dehumidifier in here, my hair dries faster, which is wonderful because there's been days that it takes like six hours to dry, eight hours to dry. It's awful. And so, yeah, I really do recommend getting a dehumidifier just because it will help with things like this as well. Um, there's so many things that that can help with. Okay. Once you have dried off your rims, that is the, our third way of saving money on canning lids and also taking care of them. The fourth thing you need to do is make sure that where you are keeping these lids is a good spot for keeping them. I keep my canning lids in a drawer that is right next to our refrigerator. Now, why is this significant? It's significant because refrigerators tend to give off some heat. This is a dry spot, but it is also a spot that is gonna stay somewhat warm. It's not really cold, which it could be a cold spot and that would be fine. The important thing here is that it is dry. And so if I happen to put my canning rings back into the drawer and they were a little bit wet still, they're gonna dry off quickly because they are right next to a warm spot, the fridge, right? Um, so I really do recommend you figure out a spot that is gonna be a dry spot for them that is not going to cause issues. Um, it's not gonna be a damp area or a really cold damp area. It's not gonna be an area that goes up and down in temperature and humidity quite a bit. So like if you're storing these out in the basement or something, that might actually not be the best spot. You might wanna find a much drier area for them. Okay, so that was number four. <laughs> I hope you guys are taking something away from this. Um, even if you just implement one of these habits, and like I said, I need to make sure I have a trigger so that when I see something to do that's having to do with these lids, I do it right away. I would love to hear what you guys are planning to can this year. I am just starting my garden and I'm planning ahead for some jams. I'm planning to do some beans once again this year. Um, and some of these things you may see. If you have not seen my video yet of me testing a pizza sauce canning recipe, go back and check out that one. That one's fun because I incorporate just planning out my seeds for the year and planning what I'm going to garden based on the canning. Um, it, it's kind of neat when you actually think about what you want to save for the following year and you base your garden off of these plans. It makes it even more exciting. I will tell you right now, that we did love the pizza sauce and it did go really fast. So I did decide to make that and I will be having a pizza garden this year. Um, we're gonna be growing a special type of tomato for this and I'm gonna be getting some great basil, um, be growing oregano with it. We're just gonna have lots of fun and do it specially. If you are not subscribed to this channel, that would be wonderful if you could just click on that subscribe button and it will also help you to see new videos when they come out. Thank you guys for hanging out today and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.